Just for the sake of this uh, video, I've already done mine, but I've taken it off again. So this is the Triumph T140E with the with the brake light, uh, the brake light switch, which is in the handlebars, in the handlebar lever up there, and those that um, have got these that. that finds that when they take that apart or their brake lights don't work properly and they take that apart it ends up with loads of bits all over the place and broken bits of plastic and you and you either don't have a back brake light or you have to fork out anything up to hundred pound for another um, another lever attachment so this is what you originally have you originally have um, just a, a piece of um, brake pipe which goes from the actual uh, brake mast cylinder comes down goes across and then goes down to uh, the towards the canopers which is a fitting around the back uh, I think you can see that so it comes goes from here from this one here, I'm going to try and do this while well, the camera's still on the tripod. I can't be asked to keep taking it off, putting it on back, and it and it connects down here. Right, so so we've taken that off. Easy to do. All you do is just drain out all the fluid. Drain out all the fluid. Take the two bolts out your red lights. Drop the red light down. You can get to it, so you can take it off. Take your your bulge out your clocks as well because you a bit of room and even take your clutch cable off if you want even more room so what I've done I'm knocking these little I'm knocking these up I'm knocking the uh, I'm making up these these tubes with this T-piece and I'm I'm going to be selling them at, uh, to start with 20 pound each and all you need to do is buy the switch itself and this switch is a 3 8 UNF thread on this switch so you might be able to find cheaper one than the Lucas one you probably could I think I've seen them down to about £7.20 but for 20 quid I will ship this part in together like that so you can't go wrong the S bend goes at the top and this uh, double angle bit at the bottom so it comes all comes loose so it's easy to fit put the top one in screw the top one in and then come round and screw the bottom one in it's as easy easy fitting as that because they're all they're all made up on a jig they're all made up on a jig so they're gonna all fit unless unless these are a, a, a different place if they're sticking through if this is sticking through more you've got a longer thread on that that's why I put the big bend there so you can move it up and down and that's how as easy as that goes on right and all you've got to do then if I twist that around is stick a screwdriver through that hole to hold that steady while you tighten these these two two uh, nuts up there. Yeah. Which are nine sixteenths, I believe. Seven sixteenths, half inch. Can't remember now which way that is. Seven sixteenths. Yeah, seven sixteenths. So yeah, I've got a, I use a coming from the back, I'll hold that steady and then I can do these up I can do them up, what I'm doing 
be the, the trickiest part really is just to do these up. Just take your time, don't go mad. Plane going overhead. It's always a good move to put that um, that switch on before you put all this in in place because it can uh, be easier. To, easy, I mean, if you, to, you need to put a bit of pressure on that, and you don't want to twist all the pipes around to and stick this in the vice or something, and then do that up with a big spanner before you put all that in there. So, the next job. Do these ones up at the top. Nip these up. Yeah. So yeah, hold the bottom. Hold the bottom. And nip that one up. So we don't want that twisting round. A bit playing it, so right. there you have it. So you've got your pipes connected up. What you need to do is find the on your wiring diagram. Find which two wires come from the uh, the brake light switch that go up to the. To the handle, check on your wire, wire diagram, diagram, diagram. Check on your wiring diagram, which which two you need. Take the headlight off. Connect them two wires. Or extend them two wires. Put a couple of spade connectors on. Right here, here. Zoom out a little bit. And then we go from there onto the switch. One and two. Right, so that's done. Then we put the red light back on. Right. Put the red light back on. Up we go. Headlights at the same angle as my indicators. Just, uh, get your headlight on the same angle as your indicators, then it goes back the same way it comes off. Tad more. There we go, that'll do. a bit before what it used to do it used to rub the one I had in before it used to rub against the uh, the wiring loom the wiring loom's a little bit brittle so let me get it out in the light and I'll show you be, be right back right right there we are so it comes out from the, the bottom goes up nice and neat looking in there it's all your switch wired in your pipe that goes up in there. Don't know if you can see in there. It goes up to your your brakes. Now we need to bleed them. Now we need to 
get them working so and check for leaks of course so let's, uh, let's sort that out Yeah, I've got a, a vacuum, a vacuum uh, brake bleeding tool, bleeding tool. What you do is you put it on the brake nip, uh, brake nipple, and then you then you pump it a little bit, so it causes a vacuum, and then you crack the nipple open, and it and it's supposed to suck all the all the uh, brake fluid down. It's as easy as that bleeding the brakes with one of these things. Then we check our check our brake our brake switch is working. See that? A little bit of Try not to trip over everything. I'm thinking. So, we've got our brake light working. That's all done now. Nice brakes work, lovely. Go down in there, squeeze as hard as you can, see if there's any leaks. Make sure there's no leaks. Squeezing it as hard as you can. Have a look everywhere. Right, that's good. So that's it. 
so we're done. So it's as easy as that really. We'll sort of around for an hour, get it done. Obviously if you don't like the, uh, look at the copper look of the pipes, just get a bit of amorite, smooth black and paint them. I think the copper looks alright really. Like I say to Brian, it looks like a Lister engine now, it's got all these copper bits on it. <laughs> yeah, so anyway. So anyway, there it is. That's the uh, electric switch on the brakes. If you want this done, if you want this, if you want me to do your bike for you, I can do it for you. It's um, to get it done from start to finish. Um, I'll charge eighty pounds to do that. Just drop your bike off. Let me have it for a day. I'll sort it out for you, and you can take it away with a hydraulic front brake switch. So. If you're interested let me know in fact if you're interested go to um, croftmotorcycles.com and leave a message in the uh, on the contact page and that come to me that's my website croftmotorcycles.com right thanks for watching and I'll catch you later